looking fool during the freedom you only have one vote me and i'm the can only one single vote do you want biafra to be free or do you want to remain in nigeria simple that day you will cast your vote only one vote you will cast you you little demon idiot like you after maybe two years you come down there then it goes again here could you to okay man if we don't get you before then i say it out in the open i don't hide it you went that as i've been saying i want to go to hague i want to be tried in a law court anywhere in the world where all the facts about the zoo all the nonsense you fools have been doing will be brought to public knowledge that day what i will know the whole world will know what you've been up to mad people you remember there was a time even african referees were not allowed to refree any match <laughs> because they are corrupt as black people for you i don't want to spend time educating channels tv and the the wannabe hitler Mike on how rivers was created but i'll just touch upon it very briefly we can want you to understand that river state go to wikipedia after river state you will see a bracket there inside it is evil igbo for information maybe tomorrow you pay them to change it <laughs> uh, they are me. you were created in 1967 27th of may 1967 you were created remember what i told you people about children's day 27th of may some of you don't know this sense, but i will teach you children's day that you are celebrating coincides with the day that river state was created that was the day that the eastern consultative assembly gave ujuku the mandate to declare biafra that same day the british intelligence got wind of it through bbc correspondent in enugu and britain called go on and told go on what was happening and gave go on this advice that they themselves being the british the best way they have used over the centuries to conquer people is by dividing them divide them first then you go and conquer them divide and rule and go on on that same 27 children as i told you the reason why they they, they call it children's day People don't know how important 27th of May is. It was on that same day as they were deliberating that River State was created. That same day. <laughs> Are you following? People didn't go actually go to school writing rubbish and talking nonsense about the constitution and all that rubbish. I look at them and I laugh. Because they are not educated. They didn't go to school. I went to government college of Mahin, University of Nigeria and Sukha. Of course, SBS, Iwacha, School of Basic Studies in Port Harcourt. I went to London Metropolitan University. We are well read. Akubo, I go good because we are well read. We, we know what we're talking about. On that 27th of May, as British intelligence MI5 got wind of the fact that the Eastern Consultative Assembly had granted Ojuku the right to proclaim Biafra on the 27th. They told Gowan to divide Biafra. That same day, a river state was created. We are you listening because you don't know history. You're a fool. You know, you know this river I'm a river man. River man. How old are you? You are just like those shouting one Nigeria every blessed day idiotic moronic set of people a man is 80 something years old older than nigeria by over 20 something years and i'm asking you before you become a nigerian who are you they cannot answer that is one thing i hold against nigerians and i will keep on holding it until their shame will sink into them we can asking you how old were you in 1967 we can i'm asking you that was when your reverse was created and you proceeded to start stealing properties belonging to your brothers. Because you don't want the land to kill you. That's why you said you are no longer Igbo. Idiot like you. If some of you have been following the news lately, 
you will see that they have the they said it has passed the second, second reading or third reading the restructuring bill in that restructuring bill they are now proposing to create a new state called a neoma state with the capital in a harbor which some of you call us about of course because you're ignorant to your all products of colonial rule anyway and they plan to add it into southeast ahaba delta state and neoma but not river state because fulani is very lazy they need to do to the rest of you what they did to goni people then your eyes will open by the time they'll be dealing with you by the time they'll be dealing with you you'll be shouting and nobody will listen to you allow me to keep misleading all of you like the idiots that some of you are we used to have the same problem everywhere around the afra land until we said no enough is enough we can go on created you rivers 27th of may 1967 the same day that the lives of frank Pigo from okreka for your information and a german was in enugu advising ujuku that same period that same day that same to the seventh ujuku said what shall we call this our new nation after they had passed the resolution and a german i'm saying this because i've just said niger get a major a major nation on other rubbish i want you to listen to me very carefully and a german rose up Frankie franco pigo and said the name of our new nation shall be biafra and ujuku asked him why biafra because ujuku himself even a historian an oxford trained historian did not know frank opigo whispered to him not in here i will tell you later what biafra means do you know how god works ojuku did not quibble he did not argue if ojuku wanted to dominate other people if Igbos had wanted to dominate other people he could have just said this is this new nation shall be called Igbo nation isn't it but you see what they don't they, they, these people i don't know i don't know they said that the zoo army is in Abao. <laughs> they are looking for trouble. <laughs> when they get it, them, they start complaining. Nigerian army is now in Abao, parambulating and patrolling, looking for who to kill. When the angels find them now and send them to God for judgment, you start acting rubbish. Now they are patrolling inside that, but you cannot ask them to go back to the barracks and sit down. Because nothing is happening. As I was saying before, those zoo vermin interrupted my train of thought this that's the 27th of may 1967 that day is very very critical i'm telling you as frank opigo and a german a john a german a john is on was telling ojuku later on i will tell you why i i recommended that the name should be biafra and the uh, holy spirit was upon ojuku god was angels from heaven we are ministering to him Telling him, listen to Frank Opigo. And uh, as soon as Chief Opigo finished, Ojuku said the name shall be Biafra. If Ojuku had domineering tendencies, if the Igbos wanted to lord it over every other person to conquer them, I think Ojuku should have um, insisted on the place answering Igbo nation, isn't it? That's pure common sense. As the Fulanese are doing to the Hausa people up north. Hmm? Isn't it? Of course, Ahaba is in Mbito. Ahaba, Asaba is Ahaba. The name is Ahaba. Go there. If you go to Asaba tomorrow morning, you see the name there, Ahaba. Go and ask the traditional ruler. The Asaba of Asaba. Go and ask him, what is your name? You tell his If you go to his palace, he wrote Ahaba. That's the name. Like Ahabi Meni. Who doesn't know that? Is it all this nonsense? These corrupt, useless Yoruba journalists are writing every day that you're reading. That you, that's why people who are born in Lagos sometimes, I don't, to be honest with you, I don't quite see them as, as, as normal people, to be honest with you. I'm being honest though. You know, in Amon all these people that grew up in Lagos and can all these places that they, they know nothing in their brain. They are the ones that will insist. The, the name is Asaba. It's Ahaba. Go there to Ahaba, you will see it. Last year, as you have a Habib name. 
common sense, they don't have the claim they educated. Uh, I went to school. I have a, I have PhD. Do you, do you know who I am? You, whereas your brain is empty. You know nothing, absolutely nothing. Ujuku adopted the name Biafra. As Ujuku was giving us the name Biafra, christening us Biafra, according to the advice of Chief Franco Pigo, one idiot or somewhere called go on is saying i'm going to divide you i'm going to create cross river and i'm going to create a goja state and i'm also going to create river state true or false we can i throw like you what do you know you go on channels and you're talk, talking like like somebody that fell from 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 a permanent about that fell from fell from from palm tree they have a bad huh i throw like you guys you you claim you're a lawyer you know nothing absolutely nothing your brain is empty absolutely empty that is why a fellow man like tambu will useless to your backside because you're an, you're an idiot you're a complete fool you know nothing i feel sorry for those you are deceiving poor students you raise in the zoo you go to nyac your brain is empty you know nothing absolutely nothing you don't know your history you don't even know the history of your own village we should start by asking what is the history of my village i know where we come from my village i kept asking my father before he passed i kept asking him tell me where, uh, the history of this summer and he told me the soldiers are molesting people <laughs> katana lang uh, where you're uh, having your head i hope you're listening Channels TV, Yoruba journalist, I hope you're listening. That soldiers, Nigerian soldiers are in a band right now molesting people. I hope you can hear it. When there is equal response now, you start acting your junk. That's why I said that a black man should not be a journalist. We lack conscience. Black people do not have conscience. That is why you give chief tenancy titles to people who are doing 419. People like Hope was that can come and become a governor of a state. In the olden days, people like him will be exiled or sold into slavery. Because he's a thief. 419, come on. River State was created. And in fact, I want to direct now. We can you claim you're a lawyer and also channels TV. Somebody should also email channels TV as many people as possible the willing commission report of 1958. Because I don't know what is there anything wrong with your brain, your brain cells. You people, you animals in the zoo, zoo animals calling themselves Nigerians. Is there anything? Is are you sure your brain is not made of sawdust? Is there something in your brain that is stopping you to, from reasoning? I want somebody to send this very report, the willing commission report, to every idiot that calls him or herself a Niger Delta. Send it to them. Send it to them because the idiocy is becoming too much. This foolishness can no longer be tolerated. Send it to them. Ikore, Eche, Ekbeye, Opobo, Ebani, which is born today. Orata, Orata, you know what? It's also in Ikore land. They say they are not. Uh, uh, we are from Bini, near the upper of palace, near his palace. Chai, who did this thing to you people? who did you know i can understand i know that black people by nature are very stupid but it seems to me there are degree layers of stupidity all these niger delta south south people it seems your own stupidity is incomparable i'm telling you god forbid oh no wonder the sultan can come to bayelsa and own over 30 oil wells now you understand it, don't you? No wonder. No wonder Danjuma owns is it 15 oil wells. No wonder your land can be polluted and you can't do nothing about it. Absolutely nothing. What can you do? Nothing. You lament, you cry, and nobody listens. And they float N NDDC and uh, their budget is maybe one million dollars and all of you are scrambling 
for one million dollars. Whereas the Sultan of Sokoto preaching unity and one Nigeria is because of his oil wells in Bayelsa. And you're telling me you went to school. You're telling me you can reason. You are telling me you can think properly. Do you understand it? Do you understand it? Opobo, Iban, which they call Bonnie, Orata, Orban, Ndoke are all indigenous Igbo extraction in River State. It is called River Sibo. I want you to go to Wikipedia now and type in River State to on Wikipedia. You will see it. River State, the first bracket you see is Igbo, I G B O. People may wonder why am I preaching this all the time? Because. I grew up in the village and in the village you learn a lot of things not like in the township where you learn nothing you live in a yard I grew up in the village and there is a saying where we come from you can only show me my relative you cannot show me my friend because I make my friends myself you can't bring somebody and say, oh, come, this is your friend. No. If at all any of you have had the privilege of staying in a village, in a Biafran, typically Igbo village, Biafran village, for up to a week, let's say during festive season, what happens usually? If you can remember, if you live, one them listen, oh, to let you out, listen. When you are in the village, during any festive season, how many times have you heard your mom or your father say, Oh, come, come, come. They'll call your name and say, Come. Come and see your uncle. Come and see your aunt. Come and see your, your, your cousin. How many times? Because they are all your relatives. That's the only people they can show to you. Nobody can show you your friend because your friends you make yourself. Now you understand me? Going back to Wike and the Ikwede people, or some not Ikwede players, I don't want to, to, to generalize. After all, it was an Ikwede chief that was coming to see me when I was in prison. The delegation of people coming to see me when I was in prison, the, the, if you go to the, the archives of the of the uh, people who come into court, every anytime I have a, a case, they will chatter Luxurious boss from Uguacha all the way to Abuja. It's an Ikwede chief. Have you all forgotten? You have all forgotten, haven't you? So I am weak. I cannot make me to generalize. I'm not stupid. Who we are the people that observe the seat at home, they started the lockdown yesterday in Rivers. I don't know the queer people. Yes, and I'm asking you a simple question. So we are, I'm not going to generalize. I am not going to generalize. Now listen to me. Before independence of the zoo before basically before the 27th of may 1967 there was no identity crisis in rivers none whatsoever none i have said this thing to people many times they don't want to listen when i was arguing about the origin of the Igbo race some people said they're anthropologists they're, they're historians and other rubbish they were talking non pure pure people and I tried to prove to them that the Igbo race is comprised or made up of three distinct people. Three distinct, I said, different people make up the Igbo race. They were talking nonsense. I said to them that the best place, because our ancestors were very clever, the how you know where you come from is by the names you give your children or the names you give your towns and your villages. And they said, how did I come to that realization? I said to them, do you know that the last phase that came, the house of Ephraim and Manasseh, that came from the Harish region of Israel, the last migration that came, those that passed through Ethiopia, that went through Rwanda and all the rest of it, through Cameroon before coming down to settle, crossing the Omambala River and settling. At whom we're in a glory. Do you know who they are? The tough people do not know. They were the ones that gave the name. They, 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 they were the people that realized that the oldest people on that land are the Igbo people. When they came to a place called Agolo, 
They said that this is the road that leads to the settlement of Igbo people. They named it Agolo Ozo Igbo, which means Agolo. Where you pass before you go to the settlement of Igbo people, Agolo Esi Agebendi Igbo Bi, Agolo Ozo Igbo. Ozo means the road that leads to. The same way you have Akole and Ozo Akole. Ozo Akole means this is the road you use to go to Akole. I don't know if people are are paying attention how can libanism was in heaven they are the ones that say this is our goal this is our goal this our goal settlement is the road you used to go to where ibos are our is here i got a bendy will be our goal also i hope that makes sense to most of you now you understand all of you fools claiming sad. So, do you know that Aguilera people and Umweri, Umweri can be said are not Hebrew? Do you know that? Do you know that Uweri people and Arotu can say they're not Hebrew? Do you know that some parts of Umbise or Homo and Dibeku can say they're not Hebrew? Are you aware of that? Because the original people who were there can be found in a place called the. We know our names are very brilliant. Ibuku. Hope you understand it very clearly now you are following what i'm saying i go back to the willing commission the reason why we keep having this debate all the time is because our people are not educated I, i'm sorry to say this but our people are not well educated that is the problem if you can take out only five minutes anybody calling themselves niger delta i'm equally i'm not evil i'm a Nyoma, i'm not evil if you can take out only five minutes to read the willing commission report white people wrote it not blacks then you will understand your stupidity it will be staring you in the face this for we care according to a willing report white man in 1958 way before almost 10 years before go on created or gave you your new identity more than i'm reading the report verbatim white man's report willing because they complained everywhere you go you a man is there in new culture everywhere we want minority we, we we want to recognize they call themselves minority is that correct when britain was tuning them tuning them because Britain, Britain wanted unrestricted access to our oil and gas. And the only way to achieve it is to tell all Goni people, yeah, you see you, you are these things, you are different. Ever since they started telling Ogoni people that they are different, have they succeeded? The answer is no. They come to Ejo. Hey, Ejo Nation! Ejo, you are different, too. Have you succeeded in getting your resource control? The answer is no. They come to uh, uh, the upper land of Yibo, which is from across Yibo River. Not minding that is a place called Obibo. They tell you, oh, the, they, they hate you. The, the South, South, Nigeria, they hate you. Look for one Igbo, Igbo nation only. Don't, don't mind them. <laughs> and some intellectuals and the Fulefus will buy into it. They want to divide you to weaken you. You have forgotten that our other people are Igbo people. Bonnie people are Igbo people. I want I want to challenge all of you now. You know during the burning of the house of that street or that sabotua. Call them. Do you know who was uh he go on appointed dear the spiff? <laughs> the the one they just chased away from his palace now. As the as the governor of River State. Are you aware of that? No, you don't know what I'm telling you now that man they pursued a few days ago from his palace he's called alfred data speed if i'm not mistaken he was the saboteur that go on used to administer river state to spite who you understand so they created natural saboteurs you see this man you call what's his name edwin clark do you know why i hate him he's a father he's an elderly man i should be respecting him is that not correct according to our culture do you know why i hate him with a passion he was a saboteur. They made him Minister of Information. <laughs> that's, how, uh, that's how they roll. <laughs> Janja Weed and their British masters, they gave them political positions. 
they became they they now went back to go and convince their own people that Biafra is a bad thing for them to 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 be part of because of political appointment. Are you following me? This man was sacked from his palace a few days ago. Are you listening to me? He was sacked. Do you know why he was sacked? I can't see other way home. Go and watch that video again. All the people from Nembe, I think it's Nembe in Brass, Tom Brass, Tom, Tom Brass. I want you to, we can go and watch the video of the indigents of Tuan Brass in Nembe, or whatever it is, removing the very corrupt king, Alfred Dieter Spieth. They we are all speaking a dialect of Igbo in a Joland. Go and watch the video again and again and again. Are you listening to me? People ask me, why are you doing this? Are you begging them to join you? Why did you reject Igbo only Biafra? I said to them, as Oriental Boras sang in their song, Kabaka in those days. I am only identifying with my flesh and my own blood. The same DNA, the same heritage, the same value system. In a referendum, they will have the chance to reject me. Then if they do, I will respect it. That is their own prerogative. And forever and ever, we will make it as a law that is binding on every generation that these are no longer your people. And I'm up you. That's what we're trying to do. We are not forcing anybody to do anything. I am doing what the Asians did. If you see your flesh and blood, you recognize them. That's all we are doing. That is all we are doing. I will get to the case of Ogoni and the rest of them later on. But I want our people to understand this. The reason why they are they are goading you or uh, forcing you to adopt a different identity is because it is easier. To, it will be easier for them to control you once we are divided. I have preached this gospel before, and I will preach it again. The only reason why they killed Cancer War was because the Ebos did not rise up to defend him. That's all. The reason why they did not kill me whilst I was in detention was because of the Avengers, not Igbo people. Of course, IPOB was formidable. I mean, blocking that bridge for four days. You know, who could have done that? And people ask me, why do I keep saying I will sacrifice anything for Biafra? Because they sacrificed everything for me. Head bridge was blocked for four days. Avengers came out. Mainly a jaw use. Came out to say, we'll blow up every Nigeria will not export any oil. Their number one demand was releasing them the kind from detention. How can I not preach about the unity of these people? Why won't I preach it? I hope that we can learn. We can, I'm going to read the William Commission report for you. More than 98% of people who inhabit this area is called the Igbo Plateau of the Eastern region. Do you know what it's called? It's, it's called a plateau. You know what the plateau is? Like Plateau State. It's a table land. It's a flat land. If you cross Ngwa, once you enter Ngwa, basically, if you don't know, Udi Hills ends in you know Omaha. Udi, some of you that did geography, Udi Hills, the range of hills where you have hills and you have valley. Like if you go to Olokoro, if you go, there, is, there are hills, there are valleys, and other, it ends in you know Omaha. From Ngwa, it is now flat land all the way to the ocean. That was why the white man called it the Igbo Plateau. It is in the Willings Report of 1958. Channels, are you listening? Wike, are you listening? I'm reading the report for you. They are all Igbo and they speak one language, though, of course, with certain differences of dialect. There are nearly five million of them and they are too many for the soil to support. They are vigorous and intelligent and have pushed outward in every direction, seeking a livelihood by trade or in service in the surrounding areas of the eastern region, in the western region, in the north and outside Nigeria. They are no more popular with their neighbors than is usual in the case of an energetic and expanding people whose neighbors have a more leisurely outlook on life. 
This is simple English written by a white man. Mike, are you listening? General Steve, are you listening? A white man said in 1958, these people that inhabit the plateau of rivers, I call you Gwacha, that is the proper name. You people, you are Igbo. You are intelligent. I'm not talking about the Igbo people. You are very smart. You diverse. You travel out wide. You are energetic. You are hardworking. But the places you are going to, the people who hate you in the north, in the west, everywhere you go to, they hate you because those people are lazy. That's what the white man said. I didn't say it. It's here now in the paper. Hi. My goodness, me. Only I'm not china can make a promise. They hurt us because we are hardworking. That is why they brought Ahmed Gulak to a worry and killed him. That they may demonize and kill as many of us as possible. Because we are energetic. We are blessed by God. Everybody is in this together. Everybody in the former Eastern region. This is what a white man wrote about you in 1958. Do you know what the white man said again? As I've been teaching you for a very long time. Let me tell you what the white man said. Though there has been no great kingdoms or indigenous culture in the Eastern region. No great kingdom. The only reason why Britain hated us was because they could not have any one man to go to to say, Oh, tell them what to do. Because we had no kings. But the coastal chiefs, coastal chiefs means they draw people. The coastal chiefs, those who live by the very close to, to, to the to the Atlantic Ocean, they grew on their trade with European merchant ships, simply slavery. That's all they were doing. So some of you that claim you're from a John, you're not Biafra, you are Sabotuas, is in your nature. You've been selling your brothers to the white man from time. You know me, I speak the truth. And I damn the consequences. When you see somebody from a jaw land as a traitor, it didn't start today. They started selling us to the white man, betrayal is in their blood. Look at Edwin Clark. Look at our Jeter Spitz. But I'm not going to generalize. The man that gave us the name Biafra that most Ija people said they don't identify with is an Ija man. That is the most you that is that is the irony of the whole thing. I thank God for Franco Pigo. I thank God for people I cannot mention their names here because I don't want the police looking for them. From Ijoland. I thank Tompolo. I thank all of them. They know who they are. That have this thing at heart. I'm not saying that um, evil politicians have helped any matters or no. They made it worse. And sometimes I don't blame our brothers from the coastal region. In the year 1999, I've said this story, I've told you this story about a billion times over, but I'll say it again tonight. We can, when you were still running around or carrying bag for politicians, I left England to try to come to Biafra land to unite this great family. Then there was no IPOV. There was no agitation by anybody. This was before mass up started. Before anybody mentioned Biafra to anybody. I was at a place called Ogunabali in Iwacha, talking to the local chief, the traditional ruler there. And he said to me, my son, where are your fathers? This particular message you're bringing to me, your father should be bringing it here. A message of hope and reconciliation of our people. Because I sat him down and I and I lectured him about history and who we are, that we are one people. That was the day that I went to the office of Don Mite of Mosop. Ask him, he will tell you. The year was 1999. We've come a long way, haven't we? It's called consistency. I never change. Ask Mita, the leader of Mosop, what I told him in his office. I met him in his office in, in Niger Street. He watched, I'll never forget. That day, I was coming from the home. I don't know if it's late now, because it's a very long time. I was coming from the home of the traditional ruler of Obuna Valley. You know, Hotel Chester is opposite. 
Ah dear, Chuko Kikabia Mamena Nyeben. Let Lord have mercy upon us. They don't, they, don't, they don't know who we are. We have gone very far. Very, very far. I said Mosop. That was where I was recopied the name from. Mosop. Movement for the survival of Ogoni people. That was the number one freedom fighting movement that was instituted anywhere in the East. They are number one. Mosop was number one. Ogoni freedom fighters, they were number one. But was really merely copied the name because he was too lazy to do anything. So he just copied the name. Are you listening to me? <laughs> the reverse pros include Brass and Degema. Brass and Degema are overwhelmingly a job. I told about one Brass a while ago where Dieter Spieth came from, where he was sacked a few days ago. They were speaking Igbo dialect. And then there was the Guni division. It is all here. In that very place, that time, out of a population in Rivers Province of 747,000 people in the so called River State, 305,000 were Igbo people, 240,000 were Ijo people, 156 were Ogoni people. The only three people mentioned, distinct groups mentioned in River State were Igbo. The owners of rivers, Ibo, Ejo, and Dogoni. Every other subgroup you must find yourself under, either you are Ogoni, you are Ejo, or you are Ibo. And the highest population of Ibo people in River State, the highest population of people in uh, the ethnic group in River State, Ibo people, in 1958. <laughs> oh, dear me, dear me. Dear me, dear me. Mm -hmm. My goodness. I don't need time to continue or to stop because sometimes I don't know if our people are actually absorbing what we are telling them. I don't know. Let me tell you what happened. According to the white man, the white man said in the whole of the non Igbo areas, the Joe and the Ogoni areas, there were some fear that they are being overrun by the Igbo. The Igbo includes Igbo people, oh, mind you, in their own land. They were, there was fear of being overrun commercially and politically by the Igbos. If I heard and Port Harcourt, which is the Igbo, which are really Igbo, a white man, wait, are you listening to me? I, 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 I've forgotten all the, I, I, I've forgotten, I have other things to preach, but I want to educate this fool and channels TV. You're a bad journalist, I want to educate you. Because some of you are very daft, you know nothing. I'm reading what a white man investigated and reported upon in 1958. What did this white man say? The white man said, in non Igbo areas, which is a jaw and Ogoni, they, they are afraid oh, that Igbo man will overrun them commercially and politically. This Igbo man includes Igbo man, which is weak case lineage. Weak case people. They said, if I heard that and put her court, which are really evil. A white man said, you watch her, it's evil. The people that colonized you, the people that colonized you said, you watch her, it's evil. It is here. Winning commission that you cried to. You were the people that petitioned him and said, we are minority, we are dying, come and save us. The white man came and said and told you that our order and the Igbo chapot hackot are uh, Igbo. It was considered the solid center of Igbo population. The fear and grievances of minorities. Why this commission was set up. After today, I will not read this very subject again. Please make sure our media team, make sure you cut out this very thing. Anybody who talks nonsense about him, Nigeria themselves, sir, please cut this very clip and give it to that very, very individual so they can receive some sense i am asking them i am giving them references i'm not asking them to just sit in one place and accept what i'm saying no i'm asking them to go and do research on what i have said on what i have said the allegation was put forward by the council to the petitioners that the judiciary was predominantly Igbo with the implication that this caused fear among those who are not Igbos. 
but it was clearly stated in the evidence by Dr. Udoma, the leader of UNIP, that no, that no occasion could be adduced of the judiciary acting with partiality. So the white people concluded that the fears of the so-called minorities were unfounded because this man, Dr. Udoma, came and said to them, show us an instance of impartiality by the judges. And they couldn't show anything. They couldn't. That tells you all you need to know. Do some of you know the reason why most people from core areas, which is Cross River, Rivers, and the Goja region in those days, were mainly, uh, you know, police officers. It was as a, as a result of this willing commission. He was the one that recommended that, okay, if you're afraid that you're going to be overrun, okay, put them, give them priority in the police service. That's why most of them were in the police. That is a fact, historical fact, it is here. Anyway, when we is done, I don't want you to get that fool anymore. Maybe tomorrow channels will interview him again. He'll start talking his usual rubbish as the fool that he is. That is why somebody will go to Ahaba and ban the Afghan flag. The same person banning Biafran flag were part of the people that came to the same harbor and massacred people in broad daylight. You know, when I look at the irony of the whole thing, it baffles me. When I see people from Ogoni say they want to be part of one Nigeria, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Honestly, I'm, I'm horrified. <laughs> you mean the same one Nigeria that killed Kensal Weaver? <laughs> that is where I say that sometimes uh, people are very, very sick in the brain, honestly speaking. The same people today claiming the police, we are banning Biafran flags in Delta State. They know what they are doing. They have been forcing us all this while, trying to frustrate us so, so that IPOB can say, okay, give us only five eastern, south, southeastern states, let's go. That's what they want. And any day we say they'll give it to us. That is what they want. But we are saying no because that wasn't what elohim told us god said these are my children from uh, from igodomigod all the way to bakasi they are my children they must be under one house different um um ethnicities but under one umbrella later on they can go their separate ways i don't care but insofar as this fight is concerned, so that when, when Fulano will be slaughtering you in time to come, we'll simply tell you, <laughs> we told you so. As I'm telling all of you, I told you so. When I told about people in America, why do you think that they, they now love us so much in World War Congress? <laughs> because I told them in no certain times that these people, they are coming. Yes, they are coming. They said, oh, how do you know? I said, I know, but they are coming. Have they not come today? And people not running from home here, from Obakala, from uh, from everywhere they go. Yesterday night, saying they have come. I told you they will come. I told you. In the year 2015, I told you they are good. It doesn't matter what you do, they are coming to take your land from you. The same people that uh, stood us up and shot us to, to pieces in our Saba is telling us uh, you don't have any identity. You are what we call you. You are now Delta. But in the north, they call themselves Arewa. In the core north, I don't mean middle belt. And they are Arewa. No one has actually said to them, okay, from today, your name is Sahel. Since you're from the Sahel region, your name is Sahel. You're all Sahelians. But they can come to my land and say, you're a Delta. You're a, you're a Riverian. You're a Cross Riverian. God have mercy. But you cannot ask them now to drop the name out of one. They will listen to you. They will tell you no. They won't drop it. Let us call them the Sahelians. He says that from the Sahel. And, uh, the death is not in Ebony State. It's in, it's in Ebony. People that we are wrongly carved into Benue State. That is where the problem is coming from, please. And we are going to do ESN is going there. We're going to deal with it. In the next few days, you start hearing stories. We're going to deal with it. A little boy wrote to me, and um, I've read what he said to me, and we're going to respond. In the next few days, uh, men will be on the ground to defend those places. Don't worry about that. We know what we're doing. 
And uh, I don't want to talk about Mickey again, it's irrelevant. Yeah, let him go and change his pampas and, and go and meet, meet Tambua. Yeah. It's Tambua that will deal with him. <laughs> Anything, he can say whatever rubbish he likes on Chinese TV. Uh, my only happiness is that when he goes inside the bedroom, Tambua will, will, will deal with him. That's my only happiness. That's my only happiness. The killing of Igbo people in Benue State must stop. Governor Otam, a man that I like very much, and I respect immensely. The killing in Benue State of Igbo people must stop. And the killing of part of everybody in Benue State must stop. Not the just Igbo people. Everybody, the killing must stop. And if help is needed, that help will be provided. Yes, we can. After if return, after talking all your rubbish, my happiness is that in the night you'll be crying because because Tambua will be on your back and be dealing with you be dealing with you idiot to the guy fool yeah. the killing of people in Benue must stop and when people are asking ESN to intervene when people are asking ESN to do you must understand that we are fighting many battles at the same time exactly what happened during the war we are fighting Miyetiala, the frontline flannel terrorist group we have. Before, imagine what we have to negotiate before we come into your village in Benue. We have to fight Miyetiala. We have to fight the Nigeria police. We have to fight the Nigeria army. We have to fight, I, I hope going forward, we will say we have to fight the governors. So let me leave them out for now. We have to fight all the saboteurs, the finger pointers. We have to fight the intellectuals. And we need to overcome Yoruba Gotham media. These are the battles we face every blessed day. Tell me a group of people that will face such formidable adversaries and they will survive. But we are here. We are here. So these are the issues that we have to confront, but we are going to Benue and we're going to help them. ESN will be in Benue state and we are going to help Benue people. And we are not coming to take over your land. We are coming to help you. There is nothing. I am a child of heaven. I am Hebraic in my disposition. What it means is that I cannot take any land that doesn't belong to me. Do you understand? That is why in our culture, when you commit an offense where somebody, as a child, you are trained that some capital crimes is a crime against the land, not crime against humanity. You understand? That is why when there is, when you want to offer prayers, you take off your shoes and you stand on the land. You pour kai kai libation hot drink on the ground itself. That is why if you commit a capital crime, as in the land which you stand upon, because on that land you're going to build a house, on that land you're going to cultivate, on that land you're going to be buried. This is how the ancients structured our society. So even if nobody is watching you when you want to commit a crime, the land you're standing on is watching you. I can't wait for Biafra to come so we can go back to the way of our ancestors. The old ways, the old ways, the ways of the ancient. That is why in our land, I abhor, we abhor things like selling of children. It's an abomination before God and before man. And anywhere you know people from today who are selling children, please let us know. Anywhere you know people, uh, any doctor, any midwife, any hospital, any maternity home involved in the selling of children, please, you notify us so we can go and deal with them. So also is kidnapping. God is against it. Our land is against it. We don't want.